Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hello, Bachelors and Sewers. I hope you are well. Welcome back to part two of this exciting upcycling of this jumper, sweater, whatever you prefer to call it. Um, yes, I am so excited. It really has worked out well and we just need to make sure the sleeves work. Um, I'm hoping there isn't going to be as much work in the sleeves as there was in the lower section of this jumper, but definitely worth it. It was definitely worth the hand sewing because um, it's so gorgeous. It, oh, I'll have to show you again. I really do. There we go. I still got my basting stitches that I need to take out, but I'll take them out later. Let's just focus on the sleeves. So we've got this opening at the shoulder and also the opening on the under seam, the under seam, the side seam, the side seam of the sleeve. So, I have, and we'll go to the sleeves now, I have put a gathering stitch to the top of the sleeve, the sleeve head, and um, so we're going to gather that and it's going to look amazing. I've also done a French seam as well. So, let me just, so it's, it looks nice and neat and professional. This is the wrong side, and then bring it through to the right side. I see that the sleeves are they're they're, they're long and they're quite wide-ish. Um, so all I need to do is just insert it, see what gorgeousness there's going to be happening. I'm not going to cross my fingers. It's it will look gorgeous. You've got to have faith, haven't you? Um, so yes. So let me just gather that. Let me just gather this one. And I'll gather the other one and I'll bring the camera down so that you can have a look. It's only fair. Quite excited about this one. I know I was excited about my other projects, especially my jacket, which I this one, which I'll link below. A lot of you guys love that. It's it was yeah, it was gorgeous. It turned out well. But the top before the, in this video, before the the um, refashioning on this item. Oh yes, that looks. Don't that look gorgeous? Those gathers. All oh, right. Okay, bring the camera down so I can see how I pull that down. How I gather this up, I should say. Ooh. Do you excuse me, I'm looking in the mirror here, but that looks oh that looks gorgeous. Oh, oh. Oh yes, oh yes, Th that, <laughs> look, <gasps> that is gorgeous. Oh, and I like how the sleeve is here. Oh, look, 
Nice you. Ooh, that's nice. Um, that is gorgeous. Check that. And I do believe that this will be, this will stay. It won't fold in on itself. And with the help of the sleeve, I thought I may have to add um, shoulder pads or sleeve roll. I don't think I will. Well, no, I think that's doing its job with a little effort from me as far as construction is involved. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I think it's just the um, the tie backs because I was I want I was thinking about adding them into this, but I think it's just going to be a little bit too much. Because the only way I can think of adding them is to the sleeve here. Yeah. Right, let me, as in bring them in with me, let me just go and get the... Gives you a little bit. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go and get the tie backs. Okay, I've got the tie backs. Right. Tie backs work. I don't know, I don't, I don't. I'm going to just be overdoing it a little bit with tie backs. Not a bad idea. No, I'm not going to add the tie backs. Says me. <laughs> and it's so important that you do have a play around with your ideas. Because that's not bad. I do like that. I do like the idea. But I think I'm just deferring this opening. I think that's a little bit controlled, but I still like it. I do like it. All right, let me just take that away. And I think what's selling me on it as well is that when I do this, I've got my arm up. I like that. And you can see more of it. I do like that. So this is going to be used in another project. Yeah, it's going to be used in another project. Because I like that idea. This is what I'm into at the moment. Yeah, I've decided that's what I'm going to do. Should I? Colleen, you're taking this too far now. No, because you need to know when to stop. And this is it. <laughs> um, maybe if... <sighs> right. Advice to self. You need to know when to stop. <laughs> yeah. This is it. This is it. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas 
for upcycling fashion. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm also on the Patreon platform. Links to those memberships are in the description, so please do click on those and let's get back to the video. So I'm working on the wrong side and I'm going to insert the sleeve like this. Find my notch, match that up to the to the shoulder seam and put a pin in and then it's just a case of then just pinning this all the way around like I said video tutorial link in the description Just keep pinning until it comes around to the side seam. Side seam to side seam. Okay, that's all pinned into position. The next, not really an issue or a problem, it's just like I said before, you know, when you, when you are refashioning, I will start sewing from this point and go all the way around and I will stop at that point because it's going to be difficult for you to, uh, unless you don't have such a, I've got really a lot of bulk here, unless you don't have too much bulk, then you could start, start there, go all the way around, stop there, and then just hand sew that section. I've got quite a lot of bulk there, so that's what I'm going to do. But if you haven't, then you could just sew all the way around, start there and end there. So that is what I'm sharing with you now, just in case I may need to do some hand sewing. And you may find during this in, in this situation, hand sewing will be fine. The sleeves are now sewn in. And let me just show you the issue that's happening here. Because of this bulk, you don't want to cut that away. I'm going to be hand sewing, back stitching this just onto the sleeve area itself. And that will be fine. And then I'm going to cut myself some bias strips. So I'm just going to bind my armhole and then it will be complete. Just have to remove all these threads in the gathering stitch and let's have a try on okay Ooh. oh my gosh oh that is gorgeous I like the fact that you've kind of got two different sleeves, haven't you, really, in a way? Because if you keep your arms by the side, it really looks though like that you've just got red sleeves with a, a bit of fabric showing at the, at the bottom of it. And then as soon as you go like that, oh, ooh. Oh, this is lovely. Yes. I feel as though... I might have a scarf with this. I think the rest of the fabric is going to become a scarf. Ooh, that is, that is lovely, yeah. All I need to do now is just um, remove all the basin stitch, um, steam it, 
and just make sure these sleeves, these puffs stay as they are, which I think they will do without any effort for me, but I will wear it. And then I am, when you watch my outfits of the week, because I definitely will be wearing this in one of my outfits of the week videos, then I can report back to you about any issues um, that I may or may not have. But that, yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, yes, I'm really happy. I hope your project will just be as um, inspiring to you. And just keep just keep at it, just keep with it. You will get there. Um, if you do follow this tutorial and you do end up making something similar, do tag me, please, do tag me. I'd love to see your your creations. But, oh, I mean, oh, let me show you the back. The sleeves at the back. Yeah. Okay. So I just got a little bit hard sewing to do with the binding for the armhole, and then I'm done. Yes. If you enjoy this project, please let me know in the comments. And also, if you do follow this project, also let me know about that in the comments below. Um, I am overwhelmed, pleased with the outcome the different combinations of sleeves that I could have had. Um, I'm happy with the one that I've decided to go for. Yeah, I definitely see me see myself adding a scarf to it though. I, I just feel as though I need something here. But that's just personal choice. It may or may not happen, I don't know. Like I say, watch my videos um, where I do the outfits of the week and then you never know, something might just pop up. But, I am so happy with this. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, share and like. And also remember that I'm on the Patreon platform where I give you a lot more insight about refashioning and designing and fashion and sewing. Um, so do check out those links below. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.